Ahoy, landlubbers! It's me, your valiant Captain Vasco, and welcome to a very exciting moment. You see, there aren't actually that many great pirate video games out there. There's a couple that are, like, pretty good for what they are, but, like, they're not very interesting to, like, watch someone play, so I haven't had a lot of opportunities to do pirate things on my channel. As you probably know, I own a pirate costume and like pirate things, so it's pretty exciting that there is in fact a console game about pirates, and it seems like one that's actually worth doing a series about. Now, I've been preoccupied with some other stuff, so I haven't had a chance to start doing it yet, but here we are, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Looking forward to this. Um, I don't know, I, I sort of like what I did with Next. Let's take a, a brief second to think about three things I know about this game. For one, it can't possibly be any worse than Assassin's Creed 3, because I'm not sure I've ever actually been that disappointed by how god-awful a video game was. Ugh, it's just the actual worst. Um, secondly, I know that uh, this game has a different main protagonist in the sort of air quotes present than the previous games. It used to be a guy named Desmond, whose fate was tied to the assassins and the guys who aren't the assassins. I'm not very good at Assassin's Creed lore. Um, and, uh, I don't know. Number three, there's a bunch of pirates, and it seems totally awesome, and, uh, I, I feel like even if this game isn't as great as I want it to be, it's probably gotta be piratey enough to make up for it, right? So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and, uh, check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and add the A here. Someday I'll complain about that, I'm sure. Alright, we're done. Let's get this show on the road. Oh yeah, it's not exactly a thing I know about Assassin's Creed, but it's probably worth mentioning that I am very bad at Assassin's Creed. So that'll probably come up at some point. Well, we're off to a better start than the last game. We're doing something. And there's pirates. So that's like double plus. Did his hair color change when he was standing up? Uh-oh, we were on the wrong ship. Run the... Oh, that's weird. Wait, that's super weird. Reach the ship's wheel. Okay. Whoa, I'm getting shot at. Uh, uh, what? That was... Okay, that was super weird. Like, I'm trying to move. Should I be holding another button also? Your instructions say nothing about not getting hit by something I can't see. Like, an explosion from across the deck is, like, killing me? That's weird. Firing cannons. Okay, great. We're in tutorial mode for pirate ships. So, the last game was set in the Revolutionary War period. Uh, what is that called? The, the British called something different. Like, the Independence War or something? I forget. But, you know, when, when the American colonies rebelled against the British. It took place during that time period. And uh, it, it did introduce ship combat, but it used it, like, almost never, so it kind of sucked. Uh, I was also playing that game so sporadically, I'm probably going to forget everything that game taught me about it. So let's take a look at this. Fire the cannons, hold L2, and R to aim, and press R2 to shoot. Okay, that's sort of needlessly complicated, but I think I got it. Uh, wait a minute. I'm trying to aim, but you went away. Can I also steer the ship? I think I could also steer the ship. That was a pretty good shot, actually. I, I got many... I got many ships. It's very misty and watery here. Uh, if we could just, uh, maybe finish that guy off. These controls actually seem a little bit smoother than the last game. I remember actually firing, like, the main cannons. Uh, was actually, like, kind of clunky. Like, you had, like, a sort of smaller cannon meant for, like, more precise attacks. Oh, what happened there? There's still a guy. I want to shoot him. I have to be, uh, maybe I have to be holding down L2 the whole time I want to look that way? No, I'm not holding L2 now. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's more guys. Hello? Ooh, that's a biggish ship. Uh, if we could just, um, there we go, sort of. If we could, uh, turn harder, would be nice. Hard, hard to port, please. H hard to port. Uh, yeah, but you, you had, like, a smaller cannon that you could sort of do, like, a targeting thing like I'm doing now. But for the most part, you were just sort of, like, you, you, you would hope that things, uh, 
were just sort of in your targeting range if they were like next to your ship. Is that thing sunk by now? It feels like it should be sunk. The game agrees, I think. Okay, well, there's one captain down. Good thing I'm here. I'm qualified for the job. I own a tricorn hat. That's, that's how that works. Is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering. Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. I'm a pirate. I clearly need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. All right. No more than two. Promise me. This game sure has a lot of loading screens. <laughs> oh right, I was supposed to not be a pirate anymore. Should have thought of that sooner. <gasps> if only we could have predicted that filling a wooden boat full of explosives would possibly end badly. Looks like we've improved the checkpoint system some. Not the checkpoint, the waypoint system. I can never tell what the crap is going on in the last game. Oh, hold R2 to swim fat. Look at that. Look at that. I'm like an old pro now. Yeah. Is this uh, you know, I've never actually played any uh, Assassin's Creed multiplayer. Did that start with three? I think that started with... No, it might have been in one of the spin-offs of two. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm totally ready to go pro at, at multiplayer. I could, I could kick all your butts. <sighs> Super necessary interlude. <laughs> I'm glad I get to die in the sun instead of the ocean. <clears throat> Come back here. You owe me like six shillings. Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred esculos. I prefer the sound of rum, apparently. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? <laughs> Did you expect him not to have a gun? Bloody fucking pirates! Mm. It is a flintlock, though. Got, got a little wet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on to you, Sneaksby! Is Sneaksby a legitimate last name? Because that's kind of awesome. Okay, so R2 is our on, running man. button. We got a jump button. That's cool. I have played some Assassin's Creed, but, like, I don't know, for some reason, I, I can usually sort of, like, remember a control scheme really well. I feel like they make these slight adjustments every time they make a new Assassin's Creed game, and somehow that, like, throws off my internal barometer or whatever. I don't actually know where he's off to. There's, like, stuff on the radar. Should I care about this? There's, like, a... What? There's, like, palm leaves or something? Seems like a weird thing to put on the radar. Wait, hold R2 while moving forward. What am I supposed to climb? Wall? Or probably shouldn't have taken a detour. I've already derailed everything. If we could no, is that that's not what we want, I guess. Alright, let me go find I think I saw like a ladder. It didn't seem to lead to anything. But knowing Assassin's Creed, it could lead to something that leads to something that leads to something. It's 
try this. Climb the thing. Okay. Climbing. Okay. Have to release the run button. It's kind of a weird control. Oh, okay. And then we need to hold the run button to step up slightly. Find the assassin. So that guy was an assassin? An assassin named Sneaksby? I feel like that lacks some subtlety. Am I supposed to... Yeah, I think I want to climb to the top of this, maybe? Try, try climbing this. Okay. Alright, I accidentally managed to do that. I think that's what I was trying to do, though. I have some swords. They look kind of cool. I'm excited for the... How do, hello? I cannot climb up? Oh, I need to climb up to this, probably? Yeah, one of my one of my fears about this uh, series of games going forward is that I feel like the more like open world you try to make this, the more difficult the free running becomes because it used to sort of function off of knowing what you could and couldn't climb. All right, I don't. All right, can't jump to that tree. Can't jump to. Can't jump to that tree. I can sort of drop down. I don't know if I want that. Um, is this a place I want to be? It's where I started, right? Do you guys see the assassin? I don't see the assassin. Alright, but I came up from like... This way, right? Yeah. So he's gotta be like... Not that way. I don't know. Do I want to fall? Probably not, but if I screwed that up, there's probably a way to do it. Oh. Wait a minute. Something on the radar. What's happening? I heard, like, talking. Hello? Hello? Do I want to... I don't see anything, though. I see, like, radar activity. In the lower left there, it's not very helpful. Alright, I guess there's just like side crap I can do? I also kinda hate this. There's like an abundance of si I mean, if it's anything like the last game anyway. There's like so much pointless side crap that we they invest way too much this. time in. Is that a falcon? That thing looks terrifying. Alright. Now that I actually saw where he was, it's a lot easier to chase him. I think that was partially my fault for trying to talk about things. Um, where did he go, though? He went off this way, but I can't seem to jump towards anything? I feel like if I drop, it's going to be bad. Is I supposed to jump off that under the tree, maybe? Like, oh, that's not what I wanted. Jump up to this. Go over here. Can I jump to this? Jump. That didn't work. That hurt. Keep your distance. Oh. Uh, but I can't... I don't... Okay, yep. Oh, I love this about Assassin's Creed. They have some of the least forgiving, like, target tracking systems in the known universe. Like, basically, if you don't already know what you're doing the first time, then you're gonna lose. And that's really frustrating. Game shouldn't work that way. Okay. So there he is. See, this is, the, this is what I want. I want, like, a thing to tell me where he is if I have to chase him. And the game's gonna be really obnoxious about... How, what do you mean, reduce distance to target? I've literally been non-stop bolting after him. What, what do you expect me to be doing? I literally... I can't... Hmm. Okay, no, we're off to a really good start here. Like, seriously, though? Alright, I want you guys to pay attention. Because I'm running. And I can't be running more than I'm... What are, what are you doing? Why do you just stop? Why just stop? Alright, this time I'm actually having more trouble doing the same thing I was trying to do last time. But last time... Like, I didn't stop, and I just got a game over. Like, I could... I, like, I've had this experience before, and it's really frustrating. 
Hey, I remember these controls kind of. Oh, he's got- he's a defense guy. Those guys are always the worst. Now I can stab him some. Did I did it? Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Did he just throw away the hidden blade, which is like a signature weapon of the series? I'm sure that's not going to be super irritating later. Yeah, one of the problems I have with the series in general is just sort of like, there's a lot of like trial and error to some of these missions where it's like the game is just not set up in a way where you can just like always do everything. Oh, I can synchronize here. It's probably good. I imagine this is set up because I'm supposed to do this, so I'm gonna do this. But see, like, if the game was set up in such a way that like the radar or, 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 like, the rate at which you're chasing the guy, or some sort of clue could help you, like, track him down in one go, then, uh, then, like, you could actually do that one time without being, like, ruined? Stealth swim? What does that do? Okay. I can, like, swim undetected. Now, this is supposed to be a hostile place, because there's... There's like red on the radar and red guys. Red is bad. If you've played video games, you probably know this, but red is bad. Do 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 do. I'm sure you didn't see that happen. Hey, over here, guy. If you could just, uh. Where's that hold? Okay, I don't know why it was the uh, why it had circle over his head. Maybe because like I could press circle to whistle, but I was already doing that. So it seems like sort of a weird clue. Uh, I don't know how many people people can fit in this thing that I'm hiding in right now. But typically, it's pretty good to try just sort of stalking zones. All right, this is like I think I think this was new to the last game. Dense vegetation can be used to like move undetected. But I think you have to move fairly slowly for that to work. So, like, um... Oh, yeah, okay, he, like, automatically crouches in it and stuff. Like, that's helpful. Huh. I wonder how close I can get. Like, I want to, like, cross the clearing really quickly, but I feel like the second I try that, I'm going to get detected. Hello, I'm making sounds. Hello. Oh man. Cat calls and whatever. Ooh, it got all shadowy. Some like dynamic lighting and stuff. That kind of worked. I think he's hidden. I don't know. I'm very close. Will you fall for my whistle trick? Really, you don't find- oh, maybe that just indicates that he's, like, that he has heard the whistle. And then, like, he's coming because of that. Oh, there's two guards over there. Man, how am I supposed to deal with two guards? This guy needs to chill himself out. Oh my god, look at the turtle! Look at all the- oh, there's so much- the graphics in this game are gorgeous, which I haven't mentioned yet. But it looks really pretty. 
Um, one thing that I find interesting... I'm just gonna... Oh, I, I got them! I'll pay you. Yeah, it feels a lot more fluid than the last game. That's a plus. By God's grace, sir, you saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. What? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? That's, that's one take on things. Your captain's dead, and I just murdered a bunch of redcoats for no reason. Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. <laughs> yeah, I think the worst thing to happen is to have your captain die, and then for a bunch of redcoats to die. A anyway, um, I think maybe we'll pick this up from here next time. I uh, hope you guys are excited to see more of this game. It looks beautiful. Look at the look at the ocean. Just look at this. It's gorgeous. A beautiful game. And we'll check out more of it next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And if you join me for the next one, I'll see you then.